Hello, and welcome to NANOC 79. We're the North American Network Operators Group, an educational nonprofit, and our motto is working together to build the internet of tomorrow. If this is your first experience with NANOG, please visit nanog.org to learn more. Thank you for joining us online at this meeting. I'm speaking to you from Boston, where NANOG has been planning for the last three years to host our 2020 spring meeting. In March, it became clear that the spread of COVID-19 required NANOG to take a number of actions to protect our community, our staff, and all our volunteers. The NANOG board and staff made the safety and health of our community our primary focus, so initiated weekly board meetings and has been providing regular updates to the community. Prior to reaching the decision to host NANOG 79 entirely online, the program committee was empowered to enhance our traditional webcasting. We appreciate all of your patience while we worked with the selected hotels, our contractors, sponsors, and speakers to shift to an online meeting. The last couple of months have illustrated the importance of internet operations to serve the public good. Understanding how the internet operates, learning from experiences, and discussing problem areas are where NOGs excel. NANOG has always streamed our meetings online, provided an open discussion forum, and offered recorded educational content. The board and staff are meeting regularly to plan for our fall meeting and improve our online offerings. We will keep the community up to date and promise to use any feedback provided from this meeting to refine the virtual component of our meetings. So NEDUG is very thankful for each individual that decided to register and participate in particular, thank you to the newcomers, all the students. Uh, you are the future of our industry, of NANOG, of the internet. And we want to hear about your experience. Uh, and we'll have people available online to help as you need. I'm really excited that we have a brand new program. Uh, the program committee has worked uh, with speakers to provide recorded, live, and interactive content for you to watch throughout the next three days, four hours a day of the NANOG spring meeting. I'm excited about the keynotes, the talks, and those panels. And I ask you to sit back and spend as much time interacting with us, uh, joining in in chat windows, um, and participating with NANOG. Thank you to all the sponsors of NANOG 79. These organizations believe in the mission of NANOG and uh, really came together to support us putting this meeting online and having all of you with us. Thank you in particular to Aaron, our virtual host sponsor. Next slide. To all of the premium sponsors that support NANOG on a day-to-day -day basis. To our exhibitors who are participating in the virtual beer and gear that's available uh, as part of your program, we ask that you visit and participate in some of their forums uh, they tend to be of an educational focus, so we appreciate them not, not only sponsoring the meeting, but also putting together that content for the attendees. All of the meeting sponsors, the, these are folks that supported uh, an online meeting for the NANOG community, for all the newcomers, for everyone that's joining us online. Uh, thank you for believing in that mission and contributing. All right, and finally, Thank you, everyone, for attending NANOG. A special thanks. NANOG has six full-time staff uh, and a part-time uh, employee that have worked endless hours to put this together on a very uh, short schedule. Our program committee is entirely volunteer-based, as are the board members. Uh, so I'm proud of the work of the program committee, our staff. We welcome you to NANOG 79. And Vincent Solindra, our NANOG program committee chair, will now start the NANOG 79 program. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. As uh, Sean had mentioned, my name is Vincent Slindero and I am the NANOG program chair. Uh, actually, one thing that I did want to start off with is I wanted to test out the polling system here. So we can uh, start that poll. A uh, bit of fun because I'm sure most people have not seen me like this, but uh, should I shave this off? But uh, let's see, we'll keep the poll open for a couple minutes as we start this program. So we've had 20 uh, peer-reviewed presentations, panels, tutorials, and lightning talks for NANOG 79. And we have 25 members of the NANOG program committee who went and reviewed 
numerous talks to give you guys this great, excellent program for 79. Again, as Sean had mentioned, we are appointed by the NANOG Board of Directors and we're self-governing. And I'd like to take a few moments here to recognize all 25 members of the NANOG Program Committee. You'll see various names here uh, from different groups. If you know any of them, please reach out and give, you, give them a thanks. Uh, again, these people have worked very hard, have volunteered their time to come up with a great program committee along with the uh, speakers of the various talks for NANOG 79. So thanks again for all the program committee members. We'll have two keynotes. Tomorrow we'll hear from Tom Daly, and on Wednesday we'll hear from Scott Radner. We have two panels, uh, the network's response to COVID-19, which we'll hear uh, this morning, and then RPKI on Wednesday. We have 16 other talks, new technologies, security, automation, and more. Uh, Monday, uh, today we'll hear dynamic flooding and supernodes. Tuesday, we'll have a whiteboarding 101 session. And then on Wednesday, a 5G quick start. So you may ask, well, how am I going to ask uh, questions and answers? Please use the chat window and ask your questions there. We'll have a live question and answer with the presenter uh, after their sessions. So please use that. If you're having technical difficulty, also please use the chat rooms. Digital staff are monitoring and will help you out if you run into any technical issues. The agenda and the presentations themselves are presented uh, for download. There is a link. And a quick reminder that there is going to be a newcomers and women in tech networking sessions on Zoom during the lunch period breaks uh, this afternoon. Please fill out the surveys. As you know, this is a little shift for us from the in-person meetings. So your survey uh, responses are gonna be very important on how we determine how uh, the virtual components are going to be going forward. And with that, I will uh, say let's enjoy the program. We will begin at 12.15 um, Eastern and we'll hand it over to Michael to start our first program of the day. Enjoy the show. Thank you, everybody.